सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर फाइव डेटा हैंडलिंग पेज नंबर सेवेंटी फोर फाइव पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट वन बार्स विद अ डिफरेंस लेट इस अगेन कंसिडर द ग्रुप फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द मार्क्स ऑप्टेन्ड by 60 students in mathematics test you can observe this in table 5.4 table 5.4 here we have two columns class interval and frequency 0 to 10 2 10 to 20 10 20 to 30 21 30 to 40 19 40 to 50 7 Fifty to sixty, one. Total, sixty. This is displayed graphically as in the adjoining graph. You can observe it in Figure five point one. Figure five point one. Here we have a graph. X-axis represents marks of the students. Y-axis represents number of students. X axis is marked at an interval of 10 from 0 to 60. Y axis is marked at an interval of 2 from 0 to 22. The first bar is 2, second bar is 10, third 21, fourth 19, fifth 7 and sixth 1. Is this graph in any way different from the bar graphs? which you have drawn in class 7 observe that here we have represented the groups of observations that is class intervals on the horizontal axis the height of the bars show the frequency of the class interval also there is no gap between the bars as there is no gap between the class intervals page number 75 The graphical representation of data in this manner is called histogram. The following graph is another histogram. You can observe it in Figure five point two. Figure five point two. Here we have a graph that represents ages of twenty-five teachers of a school. X-axis represents age in years. Y-axis represents number of teachers. X axis begins from 20 A jagged line or broken line has been used along the horizontal line to indicate that we are not showing the numbers between 0 to 20 X axis goes from 20 to 50 at an interval of 5 Y axis goes from 0 to 7 at an interval of 1 The first bar represents four, second five, third six, fourth three, fifth two, sixth five. We can observe that bars are of equal width with no gaps in between. Height of bar gives the number of data items in a particular group and is the frequency. We can also observe that on the x-axis. The range is divided in equal intervals of five years in this case. From the bars of the histogram, we can answer the following questions: One, how many teachers are of age forty-five years or more, but less than fifty years? Two, how many teachers are of age less than thirty-five years? Try these. One. Observe the histogram in Figure five point three and answer the following questions. Figure five point three, x-axis represents heights in centimeter. There is a jagged line in the beginning. After the jagged line, we have numbers from one twenty-five to one sixty at an interval of five. Y-axis represents number of girls of class seven. it goes from 0 to 7 at an interval of 1 first bar represents 
second two third three fourth seven fifth four sixth two seventh one one what information is being given by the histogram two which group contains maximum girls page number 76 3 how many girls have a height of 145 centimeters and more 4 if we divide the girls into the following three categories how many would there be in each 150 centimeter and more group a 140 centimeter to less than 150 centimeter group b less than 140 centimeter Exercise 5.1 1. For which of these would you use a histogram to show the data? a. The number of letters for different areas in a postman's bag b. The height of competitors in an athletics meet c. The number of cassettes produced by five companies d. The number of passengers boarding trains from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at a station. Give reasons for each. 2. The shoppers who come to a departmental store are marked as man or M, woman or W, boy or B, or girl or G. The following list gives the shoppers who came during the first hour in the morning, G W M M W W M W G W M G W M M B G G W Make a frequency distribution table using tally marks. Draw a bar graph to illustrate it. 3. The weekly wages in rupees of 30 workers in a factory are 830, 835, 890, 810, 835, 836, 869, 845, 898, 890, 820, 860, 832, 833, 855, 845, 804, 808, 812, 840, 885, 835, 835, 836, 878, 840, 868, 890, 806, 840. Using tally marks, make a frequency table with intervals as 800 to 810, 810 to 820, and so on. 4. Draw a histogram for the frequency table made for the data in question 3 and answer the following questions. 1. Which group has the maximum number of workers? 2. How many workers earn 850 and more? 3. How many workers earn less than Rs. 850? 5. The number of hours for which students of a particular class watched television during holidays is shown through the given graph. Answer the following. 1. For how many hours? Did the maximum number of students watch TV? 2. How many students watched TV for less than 4 hours? Page number 77. 3. How many students spent more than 5 hours in watching TV? Here we have a graph. X axis shows hours of TV watched per day and is marked at an interval of 1 from 0 to 7. Y-axis represents number of students and is marked from 0 to 32 at an interval of 4. First bar is 4, second 8, third 22, fourth 
थर्टी टू फिफ्थ एट सिक्स सिक्स फाइव पॉइंट फोर सर्कल ग्राफ और पाई चार्ट हैव यू एवर कम अक्रॉस डेटा रिप्रेजेंटेड इन सर्क्यूलर फॉर्म एज गिवन इन फिगर फाइव पॉइंट फोर फिगर फाइव पॉइंट फोर वन द टाइम स्पेंड बाय अ चाइल्ड ड्यूरिंग अ डे हेयर we have a circle that represents the time spent by a child during a day it has been divided into different portions sleep is 8 hours school is 6 hours play is 3 hours homework is 4 hours others is 3 hours second age group of people in a town here we have a circle representing age group of people in a town 15 to 60 years 50000 it makes up for almost half the circle 0 to 14 years 30000 60 years and above 20000 these are called circle graphs a circle graph shows the relationship between a whole and its parts here The whole circle is divided into sectors. The size of each sector is proportional to the activity or information it represents. For example, in the above graph, the proportion of the sector for hours spent in sleeping is equal to number of sleeping hours divided by whole day, which is equal to 8 hours by 24 hours, which is equal to 1 by 3. so this sector is drawn as one third part of the circle similarly the proportion of the sector for hours spent in school is equal to number of school hours divided by whole day is equal to 6 hours by 24 hours is equal to 1 by 4 page number 78 so this sector is drawn one fourth of the circle similarly the size of other sectors can be found add up the fractions for all the activities do you get the total as one a circle graph is also called a pie chart try these one each of the following pie charts in figure 5.5 gives you a different piece of information about your class find the fraction of the circle representing each of these information 1 girls or boys here we have a circle divided in two parts 50% girls 50% boys 2 here we have a circle divided in three parts it represents transport to school walk 40% bus or car 40% cycle 20% 3 here we have a circle representing love or hate for mathematics hate is 15% love makes the other part of the circle 2 answer the following questions based on the pie chart given in figure 5.6 1 which type of programs are viewed the most 2 which two types of programs have number of viewers equal to those watching sports channels figure 5.6 viewers watching different types of channels on tv here we have a circle the half of it represents entertainment which is 50% sports 25% news 15% informative 10% 5.4.1 drawing pie charts the favorite flavors of ice creams for students of a school is given in percentages as follows column 1 flavors column 2 percentage of students preferring the flavors chocolate 50% vanilla 25% other flavors 25% let us represent this data in a pie chart the total angle at the center of a circle is 360 degree the central angle 
of the sectors will be a fraction of 360 degree. We make a table to find the central angle of the sectors. You can observe this in table 5.5. Table 5.5. In this table, we have four columns. Flavors. Students in percent preferring the flavors. In fractions. Fraction of 360 degree. Chocolate. 50%. 50 by 100 is equal to 1 by 2. 1 by 2 of 360 degree is equal to 180 degree. Vanilla, 25%. 25 by 100 is equal to 1 by 4. 1 by 4 of 360 degree is equal to 90 degree. Other flavors, 25%. 25 by 100 is equal to 1 by 4. 1 by 4 of 360 degree is equal to 90 degree. 1. Draw a circle with any convenient radius. Mark its center O and a radius OA. Here, we have a circle with radius OA. 2. The angle of the sector for chocolate is 180 degree. Use the protractor to draw angle AOB is equal to 180 degree. Here, we have a circle with angle AOB is equal to 180 degree. 3. Continue marking the remaining sectors. Here, we have a circle, half of which represents chocolate, one-fourth or 90 degree represents vanilla and the other one-fourth represents other flavors. Example 1. Adjoining pie chart in figure 5.7 gives the expenditure in percentage on various items and savings of a family during a month. 1. On which item the expenditure was maximum? 2. Expenditure on which item is equal to the total savings of the family? 3. If the monthly savings of the family is Rs 3000, what is the monthly expenditure on clothes? Figure 5.7 Here, we have a pie chart which represents expenditure and savings. Savings 15%, clothes 10%, food 25%, education for children 15%, house rent 10%, transport 5%, others 20%. Solution 1. Expenditure is maximum on food. 2. Expenditure on education of children is the same, that is 15% as the savings of the family. 3. 15% represents Rs 3000. Therefore, 10% represents Rs 3000 by 15 into 10, which is equal to Rs 2000. Example 2. On a particular day, the sales in Rs of different items of a baker's shop are given below. Ordinary bread, 320. Fruit bread, 80. Cakes and pastries, 160. Biscuits, 120. Others, 40. Total, 720. Draw a pie chart for this data. Solution. We find the central angle of each sector. Here, the total sale is equal to rupees 720. We thus have this table. In this table, there are four columns. Item, sales in rupees, in fraction, central angle. Ordinary bread, 320. 320 by 720 is equal to 4 by 9. 4 by 9 into 360 degree is equal to 160 degree. Biscuits, 120. 120 by 720 is equal to 1 by 6. 1 by 6 into 360 degree is equal to 60 degree. Cakes and pastries 160 160 by 720 is equal to 2 by 9. 2 by 9 into 360 degree is equal to 80 degree. Fruit bread 80 80 by 720 is equal to 1 by 9. 1 by 9 into 360 degree 
is equal to 40 degree. Others, 40. 40 by 720 is equal to 1 by 18. 1 by 18 into 360 degree is equal to 20 degree. Now, we make the pie chart as in figure 5.8. Figure 5.8. Here, we have the pie chart of that data. Ordinary bread takes the maximum portion with 160 degree. After that, cakes and pastries with 80 degree, biscuits with 60 degree, fruit bread with 40 degree, others with 20 degree. Page number 81. Try these. Draw a pie chart of the data given below. The time spent by a child during a day. Sleep, 8 hours. School, 6 hours. Homework, 4 hours. Play, 4 hours. Others, 2 hours. Think, discuss and write. Which form of graph would be appropriate to display the following data? 1. Production of food grains of a state. The first row represents year. The second row represents production in lakh tons. 2001, 60. 2002, 50. 2003, 70. 2004, 55. 2005, 80. 2006, 85. 2. Choice of food for a group of people. First column represents favourite food. Second column represents number of people. North Indian, 30. South Indian, 40. Chinese, 25. Others, 25. Total, 120. 3. The daily income of a group of a factory workers. The first column represents daily income in rupees. The second column represents Number of workers in a factory 75 to 100, 45, 100 to 125, 35, 125 to 150, 55, 150 to 175, 30, 175 to 200, 50, 200 to 225, 125, 225 to 250, 140, total 480. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India